I told my mom, I'm like, you're going to have to help your eyes closed majority of the show. She doesn't care. She's like, whatever, I'll shut my eyes and then I'll watch the rest of the bits. So I want to start off kind of with what drew you to this to begin with? What, why were you interested in this? For starters, I had worked with Stacey, our showrunner uh, on Unreal. And so any chance to be able to work with her again, I was like, oh, please let there be something. And then I knew she was adapting this story and book and um yeah the role the world that she created first of all when i read the script was incredible and such a relatable story um and then brad the, the ability to play brad the eight years in the past and the versions of him where he meets her and the the love that he feels for her shows his vulnerability and then all of a sudden all these issues from his childhood start coming up and then him not quite dealing with those at that moment, but then getting to play him in the present where he's dealt with them, but he has to live with the regret of not having done it sooner. So it's like, not often do you get to play someone eight year different different times, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Was How did the filming work for that? Would you guys film chronologically or was it kind of back and forth? What was that Yeah, like? it was back and forth. Like some days you would do a flashback in the morning and then in the afternoon you'd be present day. It's like, okay, let's go get changed, get a hairstyle, and then figure out what the, where the hell am I at that point? Like, where is he, you know? So it was real, it's a challenge, but it was awesome. Were there certain mannerisms that you picked up during the scenes where you were filming as younger Brad to versus older Brad? Not too much, no, not too much. Just, it's more of just like his uh, personality and his outlook on things and, you know, his leather jacket changes. So there's that as well. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, do you have any familiar, like similarities with Brad? Do you find, like, do you see yourself in him at all? Uh, he's Australian, so that helps. No, he's, you know, I I think like everyone, there's there's certain things that I've had in life where you sweep them under the rug because you don't think they're a big deal at the time and then you get on with it and they sort of manifest later into something a little bigger, but not quite like uh, Brad, no. So there's certain things that I could tap into, but yeah, just the writing was so great that I almost didn't really need to make it too personal. <laughs> Definitely. When did you guys film this? So we started at the end of February 2020 and then we got shut down two weeks later because of the world stopped. And then we came back five months later uh, and we were like one of the first shows to go back in Toronto. So it was, it was bizarre. I mean, you start and then you go back and it's just the whole new world as we knew it. So it was, it was weird, but also at the same time, while so many people were out of work, we got to work and so, you know, lucky yeah. and yeah grateful for sure absolutely um obviously the show is pretty risque yeah. <laughs> and by pretty i mean really risque oh, right. yeah um were you hesitant at all because of that like were you at first were you like wait a minute how much am i show you know like what were your expressions before that i think when you read the script you know what you're getting yourself in for so there wasn't anything getting to set and i was like oh no what am i doing as you read it but uh the amazing thing about the story is that all of those scenes are there for a reason and they help drive the emotional arc of the characters so it's there's not just a sex scene just for the sake of having a sex scene and so the fact that they're all there and they're so important to the story it makes it uh you know it, it's not like oh what am i doing it's like oh no this helps drive the emotion of the story which it helps drive the emotion in people in real life mm -hmm. And also those scenes themselves, I mean, the environment that was created for us with an intimacy coordinator and it was just extremely safe and they're the most rehearsed choreographed scenes that you'll ever do. And right. and everyone's got a voice and everyone makes sure that everybody's comfortable. And so, yeah, it's, it's not as intimidating as what you'd think because of the protocols that were set in place for us. Absolutely. Have you given your family a heads up? Or have they watched it yet? <laughs> no, I haven't watched it yet. I told my mom, I'm like, you're going to have to help your eyes close majority of the show. She doesn't care. She's like, whatever, I'll shut my eyes and then I'll watch the rest of the bits. But, you know, now my mates have ammo on me for the rest of my life. So, you know, good luck. When I go back home to Wollongong, I'm in for a tough ride. But, yeah. You know, maybe not a show you should watch with your family, but... I'm, nev I'm, nev yeah, I'm not going to watch it with my friends either, but... Uh, <laughs> You know, I was even thinking like, you know, when the first episode comes out, it's like, you should, oh, maybe you should get to invite some friends over. And it's like, that's a bit weird though, watching myself do that with my friends in the same room. So I don't know how much a viewing party will be cool. 
But yeah, it's uh, I know they'll all be watching and be proud, but also they'll give me a hard time. Um, you you and Sarah obviously have great chemistry. Uh, it came across very strong every episode from the beginning. What was that like cre starting when you guys started? How did you guys create that chemistry on screen? It's just uh, incredible writing. Uh, the You know, the characters and I think we we're both pretty well suited to play the characters and then just good casting. I guess that's Stacy. You know, she she's she had. Yeah, she knew what she was doing, I guess. But thank you for saying that. I'm glad it comes across. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what do you hope people get from the show? Because it does have a lot of different layers to it. When when you get past what you know is yeah. what you're seeing on the screen, you it really right. does have a lot of layers. I think it's going to change from person to person, which I which is what I love about it. I think it's relatable uh, to a lot of people uh, in different versions. You know, it's like the relationships, the what if, the do you have to give up this side of yourself when you move on in life and um, and you know, with the Brad character, it's like, should I be sweeping things under the rug? I think it's just gonna, I think it's gonna be a great conversation starter. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna get people to ask questions. And it's also gonna get people to think like, it's okay to want this and still be that version of me. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think it's gonna be a good water cooler conversation uh, show for sure. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, what I just want to touch on the ending before we go, which obviously I'll save till after it comes out. Right. Um, I was pretty surprised because sure. it kind of changes right at the end. Uh, do you technically think that that arrangement could work going forward for them if she does stay married and she continue and then just has that side? She has that fifteen percent. I don't know. Brad loved her. That's for sure. He's, uh, you know, you know what he did in episode uh, seven at the end of that. So I, who knows if that will sit well with him. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely not smart enough to be a writer or creator of this show. So whatever they come up with, I know will be surpass anything that I can imagine. So we'll see what they have in store. I mean, I can't imagine Cooper would be okay with it, but even Brad, I mean, he does love her. It's not- Yeah, that's, that's it. Yeah, they're both like, you know, they, you see in episode eight when they bond over the fact that they just love, they, they're both in love with her. And so, yeah, I don't know how well that would sit with either of them. <laughs> Adam, thank you so much. It was so nice to chat with you. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. I'm glad you liked it. <laughs>